ਇਧਰ ਨੂੰ ਗੋੜ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਹੀ ਆ ਰਿਹਾ ਵਾ ਉਧਰਲੇ ਪਾਸੇ ਸਪੇਸ ਹੈ ਕੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ओके स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल गुड आफ्टरनून टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई होप यू ऑल आर वेल एट होम एंड लेट्स स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज ब्लो फिश एल्गोरिथम दैट इज ब्लो फिश एल्गोरिथम ओके इन ब्लो फिश एल्गोरिथम इट इट इज रिजेंबल्स टू डीईएस दैट वी हैव कवर्ड इन द लास्ट लेक्चर ओके सो ब्लो फिश एल्गोरिथम इज रिजेंबल्ड विद डीईएस ओके बट ब्लो फिश एल्गोरिथम इज बेटर देन डीईएस बिकॉज़ इट प्रोवाइड मोर सिक्योरिटी एज कंपेयर टू डीईएस एल्गोरिथम okay so let's start to the topic that is blowfish algorithm a uh, blowfish algorithm is first point about blowfish algorithm is it is symmetric it is symmetric key algorithm it is symmetric key algorithm what does it mean this means we use same key at both end okay we use same key at uh, sender end and same key use at the receiver end so symmetric key algorithm blowfish algorithm is a symmetric key algorithm this means this use only one key at both both the end okay second point about blowfish algorithm is it is block cipher it is block cipher what is mean block cipher this means the plain text is divided into blocks the plain text is divided into blocks okay so the next point about blowfish algorithm is it is an alternative to des encryption technique it is alternative to des technique okay a blowfish algorithm replaces the des algorithm okay because blowfish algorithm is a provide blowfish algorithm provides more security as compared to des algorithm so we replace des algorithm with blowfish algorithm okay the next point about blowfish algorithm is block size as i told you blowfish algorithm is a block cipher so this means blowfish algorithm has a size of a, a plain text and this size is of 64 bit it is also 64 bit block cipher so this means the plain text is divided into 64 bits means one block equal to 64 bit yes so blowfish algorithm is divided into blocks and each block is of 64 bit okay next point is about blowfish algorithm is key size key size in des we use the key of 64 bit okay but in blowfish algorithm we use a key of variable length first first thing is we use key that is of variable size variable size and it is from 32 bit to 448 bits the key 
in blowfish algorithm it may be a from 32 bits to 448 bits and it is variable size this is very important point regarding blowfish algorithm we use the key that is a size of from 32 bits to 448 bits clear okay next point and the key may be variable size it may be a variable size ye variable size ki ho sakti hai theek hai from 32 bits to 40 or 48 bits clear next number of sub key number of sub key in blowfish algorithm we have two types of key one is a key that that is provided with the plain text okay and another key is that is sub key that is named as p array p array number of sub keys it is 18 we have total 18 sub keys and named it as p array and named it as p array okay in blowfish we have total number of sub keys 18 and these 18 sub keys are named as p array okay remember this remember this thing we have key size that is of 32 to 48 bits okay and number of sub keys that is p array which 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 are predefined already predefined we will discuss in uh, in the next uh, few minutes uh, about the number of sub keys okay so remember one thing only remember one thing key size is of 32 to 40 448 bits that is of variable size it may be a 32 bit it may be a, a 448 bit or in between 32 to 448 bit any number okay in between 32 to 448 bits and number of sub keys that is equal to 18 we have total 18 sub keys that is called p array and you can represent these arrays or sub keys as p0 p1 so on p13 okay or you can say or you can assume p1 p2 p3 so on p14 okay it totally depends upon you uh, which numbering you want to use either from p0 to p13 or p1 to p14 okay so number of total number of sub keys equal to 18 and that is called p array and represented as p0 p1 to p13 okay next point about it blowfish is total number of rounds total number of rounds it blowfish uses total 16 rounds total 16 rounds yes anjali unmute yourself यस सर आपने बताया कि टोटल हमारे पास 18 सब की होते हैं और आपने सिर्फ 14 की रिप्रेजेंट की है सॉरी यस करेक्ट दिस इट इज पी वन टू पी सेवनटीन और सॉरी पी एटीन एंड पी सेवनटीन ओके ठीक है we have total 18 sub keys that is represented as p represented as p not to p 17 or you can represent it as p want to pay 18 it totally depends upon you okay next point is uh, rounds in blowfish we also use 16 rounds as in the des algorithm okay it also use 
round clear next point is number of s boxes number of s boxes in this we use total four s boxes in blowfish we use four s boxes s boxes means substitution boxes okay so in blowfish we use four sub, uh, substitution boxes okay and next note next point is blowfish algorithm it also follow facial structure facial structure that we used in des algorithm so it also used facial structure okay yes now these are the few points regarding the blowfish the first point is it is symmetric key algorithm means we use same key at the sender end and the receiver end next it is block cipher means the plain text is divided into a uh, various blocks and each block is of 64 bit and next point a uh, blowfish algorithm is uh, used in place of des algorithm because it is more secure it provides more security as compared to des algorithm next block size as i told you the block size in blowfish is also 64 bit and next the key size that is of variable size and it and its size vary from 32 bit to 448 bit okay this is a, a important point because all the algorithms that we have discussed earlier they use a fixed uh, key okay they use a fixed key but in blowfish algorithm it uses variable key size okay so that's why it is more secure as compared to des okay and uh, the next point is number of sub keys that is 18 and these 18 sub keys number of sub keys 18 and these are represented as p0 to p17 or you can write p1 to p18 okay and these keys p0 p1 these has fixed value p defined fixed values okay abhi main aapko batata hu aur next humne yahi discuss karna hai and uh, total number of rounds we have 16 in blowfish and uh, total number of s boxes in blowfish algorithm are four s boxes and it also follow facial structure blowfish also follow facial structure for encryption okay it also follow facial structure for encryption okay the next point uh, next is properties of blowfish algorithm properties of blowfish algorithm the first property is is it is fast second it is compact third simple and fourth secure okay the first property of blowfish algorithm is fast it is fast as compared to des algorithm second is compact compact means blowfish can execute in less memory so that's why we call it compact compact means it can execute in less memory second uh, next point is simple simple this mean it is simple to implement because we use only here zor operation or add function we use for implementation we use zor and add operation so it is simple to implement and uh, next point is secure secure because in this we use variable key size okay that is difficult to uh, determine by the attacker which key we are using which size of key we are using 
ओके okay? कभी हम 32 की यूज कर सकते हैं कभी 48 की यूज कर सकते हैं कभी 56 की की यूज कर सकते हैं सो इट इज टोटली डिफिकल्ट टू डिटर्मिन बाय द अटैकर विच नंबर ऑफ बिट्स वी आर यूजिंग फॉर द की सो इट इज सिक्योर व्हाई इट इज सिक्योर बिकॉज वी यूज वेरिएबल लेंथ variable length of key that's why it is secure so these are the properties of blowfish algorithm okay the next is very important uh, part of blowfish that how to create or how to make a key for encryption purpose or to make a key for encryption purpose so uh, write down the next heading is generation of sub key generation of sub key as i told you we have 18 sub key okay and that represented as p0 p1 to p 17 clear for encryption as well as decryption okay and it is called p array it is called p array 18 sub key is called p array okay and uh, p array means and each p array either it is p0 p1 p2 so on p17 each p array is of 32 bit this is an important point no doubt p not each p array is of 32 bit for example suppose this is array and this one block this is p not this is p1 this is p2 and so on p17 and each block is of 32 bit each block is of 32 bit so this means if we assume our input key our input key is 448 bit that means that is divided by 32 and we have total 14 sub key this means we will get total 14 sub keys see i repeat again we have total 18 sub keys that is represented as p0 p1 to p17 that is called p arrays let us suppose for example this is our array and the, uh, this cell is represented as the first cell is represented as p0 this one p2 p1 this one p2 and so on p17 and each p array and each p array is of 32 bit is of 32 bits now suppose if we have input key dekho we have two type of key one is p array that is already in the algorithm that is already defined in the algorithm another is input key which we provide to the algorithm okay so so if we have 448 bit key okay and each p array is of 32 bit so we have to divide this 448 by 32 our p array size is 6 that is of 32 bit okay so this means if we have input key is 448 bit clear and we divide this 448 bit by 32 bit that is the size of the p array and we will get 14 sub key agar aap 448 ko divide karoge na 32 se to we will get 14 so this means we have 14 we have 14 sub key okay we have 14 sub key अब देखो
as i told you this p arrays has fixed value for example p not has value 2 4 3 5 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so on p 17 has 3 9 7 p 5 0 d d c p not has fixed value p not has fixed value this is a of hexadecimal number when you convert this hexadecimal number into binary it 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 equivalent to 32 bit it equivalent to 32 bits okay we represent 32 bits in hexadecimal we represent this 32 bits into hexadecimal that is equal to 8 digits okay ye to aapko pata hoga na theek hai na 8 digit uh, when you convert 8 digit into binary that is equal to 32 bits and each p array has 8 bits that is pre defined उसको हमको छेड़ने की जरूरत नहीं है ये पहले से ही आपको गिवन होगा ठीक है बट ये की जो है आपको प्लेन टेक्स्ट के साथ इनपुट होगी ठीक है सो वी डिवाइड दिस प्लेन वी डिवाइड दिस इनपुट की इनटू 14 सब की एंड यू कैन राइट दिस 14 सब की एज K1, K2, K3, थ्री सो ऑन के फोर्टीन clear okay students any doubt theek okay. hai so if if assume we have input key that is of 448 bit okay we have to divide this uh, total uh, 448 bits into sub keys that is divided by 32 okay 448 is divided by 32 that is equal to 14 so we have total 14 sub key we have total 14 sub key okay that is represented as k1 k2 k3 and k14 no we will no we will make a key that we provide to the encryption algorithm for the encryption purpose okay from this we will create a key that is provided to the uh, encryption algorithm okay Yes, Anshul. Sir, abhi aapne bola tha ki jo number of sub keys hote hain, wo total eighteen hongi. But wo to kabhi addition aayegi nahi, kyunki total jo size hai, wo four forty eight bit hi reh sakta hai. Yes. To agar ham usko divide karenge thirty two se, wo to hamesha hi fourteen aayega. To fourteen aayengi. Ab ye aage kaise hoga, wo main aapko batata hu. ठीक है? Usko humne kaise total equal to eighteen ke kaise karna hai, wo aage main aapko batata hu. ठीक है? okay students uh, next is how to make key for encryption algorithm for that we have a formula now each of the sub key is changed each of the sub key is changed with respect to the input key okay so write this okay now each of the sub key is changed with respect to input key how we uh, create a sub key for that we have for example p not p not already had defined a value okay as i told you okay p not is equal to we have uh, for example uh, 2 4 3 f 6 A six eight. This is the value of P not, which is constant and predefined for P not sub array. Okay. This is equal to P not. Okay. 
perform zor operation with first 32 bit first 32 bit of input key clear hua ke nahi anybody any doubt p not is obtained by performing zor operation with the bits of p not sub array p not array with the first 32 bits of input key for example yes p not equal to p not has value p not has value 243f 6a 68 this is the value of p not when you convert when you convert this number into binary you will get 2 